Alright, and welcome to AP Computer Science Lesson 4. This time we'll be going over conditional statements, also known as if statements, else statements, and switches. So very often when you write code, you want to perform different actions for different decisions. You can use this condition you can use conditional statements in your code to do just that. So in Java, there are two basic sets. We've got our else, else if, if, and else, and we've got our switch. And typically uh, you're gonna use this first one. Uh, more often than not, in most of your programming. Uh, switches are useful, though, when you have a fixed number of conditions. And I'll get into that uh, later. So here's a simple if statement. This is the most basic form of a conditional statement that you could possibly get. And it kind of works like this. The block of code executes when the condition is true. So we have this guy right here. This is a condition. Um, the condition is going to be a boolean. So you're going to be for a boolean, you could use those ands, ors, and nots that I talked about, and you can also use the greater than, less than, or equivalents, which is the double equal sign. Uh, all those will work for your condition. And let's say your condition is true, then this block of code right here uh, will start to execute. it will start running. Uh, but let's say your condition is false, it's going to skip over everything in these, bra in these uh, braces right here, and these curly braces. So uh, this is a very useful tool, and you'll be using it a lot. And I can guarantee you, you'll be using them on the AP test. So let's say you want to check for more conditions. Uh, you would simply use an else if statement. So it, it follows a similar syntax. Uh, you check for condition 1, and if it's true, uh, the block underneath it will begin to execute. Um, but let's say it's false and condition 2 is true. Well, condition, the block of code under condition 2 will start to run, and it'll skip over condition 1. Now here's the else statement, which is kind of um, the final part of this. So when all the previous conditions are false, the code in the else block will run. So let's say this condition right here uh, is false. It'll skip over the code below it, and it'll simply go to the else statement. else statements can also be used with the else if and if statements. So if condition 1 is false, and if condition 2 is false, then the code inside the else will run. So now we're moving on to the switch statements. And you use the switch statements to select one of many blocks of code to be executed. So we have our expression here, inside the switch statement that we pass in. And this is typically going to be a variable. And we're going to check to see if whatever this guy is, whatever is out in front of our cases, matches what's in the expression. So let's say the expression matches A. Then the code block underneath A between the semicolon and the break will execute. Let's say that the expression matches B. Well, the code block between B and break will execute as well. And let's say that neither case uh, matches up with the expression. It'll simply just jump to the default. And note that the default is actually optional. Like, you don't need to have it every time you program. But it's a good way to error check and uh, check all your bases. So here's a simple example with the if statement. So we're going to write code to display the absolute value of a number x. So here, we have our first if statement. We're checking to see if x is less than 0. And if it is, then we simply multiply by negative 1 to get the positive version of it. And then we print it out on the screen using our println function. This is the most basic way to print stuff onto the screen. Uh, you got to know this for the AP test and just for coding in general. And when I mean screen, it'll be the command prompt window. So moving on to the else, let's say that x is greater than or equal to 0. Then we'll simply just print out whatever x is. So now we're going to do a quick example with the switch. So here, uh, write code to check if a number x is even. So we're going to use the modulus function that we learned in lesson 2, right here. And we're going to find x mod 2. Now when you take the modulus of 2, this is essentially checking if a number is even or odd. If a number is odd, 
When you divide it by 2, you'll always have a remainder of 1. And conversely, if, it, if x is um, even, then when you divide by 2, you'll always have a remainder of 0. So let's say x is 4. Mod will then be, let me write this out here. So x is 4. Mod would then be 0. And then we run case 0. And hopefully this loads onto the screen. Somewhat. So we got 4 there. Mod U gets passed in 0. And we get the print line. All right. And you can all, always run this code, just type it out in your compiler, and check this to make sure. But you can also just run through it mentally. You're going to have to do that a lot on the AP Computer Science test, so be prepared for that. So let's say you pass in 5 for x, well then module is going to be 1, you go to case 1, and then it'll print out on screen, x is odd. Notice that I don't have a default case, because it's not necessary. Case 0 and case 1 check for all possible conditions, at least for integers. So we're going to have one more lesson, uh, one or two more lessons on PowerPoint, inside the PowerPoint lectures, and then we're going to jump into the actual uh, Eclipse or whatever uh, IDE you want to use, and then we're actually going to start writing legitimate code, like full programs. But I always thought that learning the theory first um, is more helpful compared to some of the other YouTube tutorials. Uh, anyway, uh, next time we're going to go over uh, different looping methods, so we'll have if, uh, we'll have, sorry, for, and we'll have while. So, tune in next week, or not next week, next time, and be sure to rate, comment, favorite, subscribe, share it to anybody who's also taking the exam, or just sim simply wants to learn some computer programming. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.